Mac Voices TV at Macworld iWorld 2012 is sponsored by Otherworld Computing, providers of high-performance Mac accessories, including the new Jupyter Mini SAS line of shared storage, the new MiniStack Mac 4-in-1 storage solution that pairs with your Mac Mini, and the new Power2U AC USB wall outlet. Find all this and more at MacSales.com. Welcome to Mac Voices TV. This is the Talk of the Mac community. I'm Chuck Joyner, and I'm in the Yerba Buena Gardens in San Francisco as Macworld iWorld 2012 kicks off. And I'm happy to welcome back to Mac Voices TV, Dan Wood of Corellia Software, the makers of Sandbox, to tell us, well, I don't know what he's going to tell us because it's been a secret up till now. Dan, it's good to have you. Thanks very much for having me here. So, what is it that you're going to reveal at Macworld iWorld 2012? Well, we are showing off the new sand version 2.5 of our Sandbox website builder. Um, we call it website creation for the Mac that's as easy to use as the Mac. And uh, this new 2.5 version has a number of really cool new features we're really excited about showing off here. Can you give me a hint as to what they are? Well, I, I can tell you exactly what they are, in fact. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that we've added to the new 2.5 version is a new uh, slideshow object. And the idea is to make it really easy if you have some photographs or graphics of some sort uh, to put them onto your website and have a nice transition sliding uh, back and forth or you know different kinds of effects and so on. Basically automatically or manually just switching from graphic to graphic on your own, you know, on a single page. A lot of websites like to have that now and so we thought it's, let's, let's add our own and make it super duper easy for people to use. And uh, you know, within just a couple of seconds you add one of these to your page if you have the graphics and it's boom, it's right there on your slide. On your on your web page. That's the first one. Um, the next uh, big thing we have is a, is another yet another way that we integrate with social media. Um, we already have in Sandbox too a number of ways through commenting systems or tweeting or Facebook like buttons and so on. A lot of ways that you can get your website easily sort of integrated in with other social you know other social media networks. Uh, we've added a new feature and that is that every time you publish it'll sort of you know unobtrusively prompt you and say hey this is a great opportunity why don't you share this with your friends and we just have a, a nice little button uh, hook into LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook or just send out an email. Say hey guys I've updated my website here's the URL. Um, really you know very very easy and uh, you know just a nice way to get your the, the message out. Um, and then uh, a third really important issue is a lot of Lion integration. Uh, you know, Sandbox has been compatible with Lion for a while now, but we really wanted to take advantage of some of the new Lion features. So what we've done is uh, we've added a number of things like full screen mode, so you can just you know take have it take over your desktop and edit your website right there. Um, uh, automatic saving, browsing old versions if you need to go back and get something that you've done before. Uh, you know, every time you launch Sandbox, it brings up the same windows that you had uh, from your previous sessions. So the idea is to you know take advantage of some of these new Lion technologies and uh, and you know make it a better experience for everyone else. So we're really really excited about this. Uh, we're going to be showing it off at the expo here. The last time you were here, you showed off some of the features of Sandbox too, which just blew me away at how far a website creation program like this has come. And so now you're just taking it to the next level. Can you show us a little bit? Uh, sure, I'd be happy to give a little demo of some of the new features, yeah. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay. Okay, Dan, so this is the new version of Sandbox. That's right. So uh, what I'm showing here is a website that we've built uh, just in a few minutes. I mean, a lot of drag and drop of text and graphics and so on. Um, and what we're looking at over here on the left is the site navigator. You can uh, go from your home page to various directions page. Here we have a, a photo album. Uh, down here we have a blog where we're writing. The, the idea here is a, a restaurant website. Um, and uh, so let me just get right into some of the new features. Um, something that we had in Sandbox 2 uh, is the ability to have a, uh, a pop-up uh, gallery of images. And I'll just show that to you really quickly, just for a little context. Um, and that is from the inspector. Um, you choose this, and now when we, when we click on these pages, uh, click on these images, we just get a nice little slideshow. It's really cool. Um, but a lot of people have uh, wanted something a little bit more dynamic, and that is to have uh, an image, sort of the images go, uh, stay in one place. And uh, so I'm going to do something along those lines. Let's go to the home page. And let's say we want to have a nice little slideshow right on the home page of a bunch of the photos of her restaurant uh, to go by. So I'm just going to click over here and uh, create an object. Go over here and say I want an index and I want a slideshow. And what that's going to do is it's going to create this new object. 
Now over in my inspector here on the right, I'm just going to say I want this to connect to the photo album. And what I'm going to what we're going to see here now, it's really cool, is um, it's just going to be sliding from one image to the other uh, using the photos that we chose over here on the left. And now people, when they come to the home page, they'll be able to get a quick view of the entire restaurant. Um, now this is really kind of cool, and you notice that I didn't have to do really any kind of crazy HTML coding or anything difficult like that. I just had to create it, put it on the page, and tell it where the photos were. Um, over here in the inspector, we have a lot of really fun ways you can, you know, different effects you can do. So right now it's just doing dissolving from image to image. Uh, but let's say we want to do something like uh, blinds, sort of like in Venetian blinds. And um, now when you go from image to image, you're going to start with one image, and then it's just going to transition like that over to the next over to the next slide and you have a lot of different options maybe I want them to go by a little more quickly so I'll just lower that uh, time in between slides um, a few more a few more images maybe wipe right for instance so the idea here is you know this this kind of a, a slideshow or some some websites they call this a slider uh, this is an effect that's available and it's pretty popular on a lot of websites and we wanted this to become part of sandbox but we want it to be way way much 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 more easy than it is to do uh, to build than than having to go through and get your javascript and put it in the right place in your page and and up you upload your media files and that kind of thing uh, so this just works right it's part of sandbox's whole workflow so that's, that's one of the first uh, things, one of the main things that I wanted to show you here. And uh, another thing to show off, which is really kind of fun, is the ability to uh, uh, social media integration here. Uh, we don't have a Wi-Fi connection, so we're not going to be able to actually open up Twitter's page. But what happens is after you publish, I'm clicking the publish button up here in the, up in the top. It's, it's uh, publishing my local changes, anything I've, anything I've just recently done. And when it's done, we'll give it a moment to upload. I'm actually uploading this on, on the computer itself so we don't have to deal with Wi-Fi. It'll tell you that it's finished publishing, which is something we've normally done, but you also get the opportunity right there to just integrate with Facebook, Twitter, and so on, and LinkedIn, or just send, send out an email to tell people, hey, this I've made some change to my website. Um, and it's going to either take uh, the website, the other the particular page that you have selected in, in the site navigator, or any other recently modified pages. So in this case, I've changed the home page. I want them to come to the home page, and so I can use some of these social media points. And uh, I, yeah, we don't have we don't have Wi-Fi, so we're not going to do that here. Uh, and then I wanted to show off some of the really cool new Lion features. Uh, as you may know, Sandbox has been compatible with Lion for a while, but this is now taking advantage of some of these. So uh, one of the nice ones to do is just go to full screen mode, click up in here. And so now Sandbox has taken over my entire screen. Uh, I can get my menu bar back, just coming up here, but uh, for the most part, I can now work with Sandbox, do all of my operations, um, access my media, uh, go from page to page, and so on, without having any other distractions on the, on the screen. Uh, another thing that's happening, which is really nice, I'll go out of full screen here, is um, back to back to normal mode. Uh, another option you have is uh, the auto saving, and so what happens here is that um, you'll notice here up in the title bar. Let's see if I'm. There we go. Oh yeah, I have to get it right. Kind of subtle, but anyhow, I can go to uh, the little triangle that pops up there. I can choose Browse All Versions, and let's say that I've made some changes and I really want to go back to a time before I had added the slideshow and so on. Um, and so this just brings up a nice little, uh, almost looks like Time Machine as a way of getting back to previous vision, reversions, revisions excuse me, of the website. And uh, so you can uh, you know, take a look, and let's say that, so this is actually loading here, getting the old version. It might go kind of slowly because we don't have the... Uh, the, the Wi-Fi connection here, but uh, anyhow, when you're done, you can either restore to an older version, or in this case, I'll just click done. I'm not I'm not going to go back in time. Uh, and there are other other line features, such as just the fact that if I quit the program, launch again, it's just going to bring me back to where I was. Um, so we're really excited about that. I mean, Line has a lot of really cool new technology, and so we're really excited to be actually uh, taking advantage of it and uh, and passing it on to our users so they can you know so they can make, make use of those. Uh, those are really the oh let's see there was one other thing. No, that was it. I think we're all I think, think those are the main bro. Oh, uh, I can also mention something else that's kind of cool. Uh, Sandbox has, uh, in the past, has been available in English, of course, but also French and German and Brazilian Portuguese. Now we're adding several new languages. Um, 
So we have Italiano, Italian, Espanol, the Spanish, so people all over the world who speak Spanish can use it. And of course, there's a little country called China that might, uh, might some people there might want to make use of it. So we have it in a traditional, or sorry, simplified Chinese. Um, and so that's opening up a, a huge new market of sandbox users there. So uh, uh, we're really excited to have, I think that's seven languages it's in now. Dan, that's kind of amazing. Uh, you know, once again, you, you push the envelope a little bit up. You make sophisticated website creation of, accessible to so many people. And that's the thing I think I get most excited about with Sandbox. Yeah, we really try to make it really, really easy to do something that ought to be easy. I mean, it ought to be as easy to build a website as it is to, let's say, write a type into a word processor. You know, drag in images from your uh, from from your desktop, from iPhoto or from your other media libraries. Um, you know, and then just click a button and have it publish and and have that show up on the website almost immediately. So, where do uh, the viewers? go to learn more about this and pick it up for themselves. Well, we're going to be in the OSX zone, OSX zone, if I can say that right, uh, over on the, sort of on the left wall of the expo. And uh, there's uh, going to be a number of the smaller independent companies there. We like to call ourselves indies. And uh, we're going to be uh, demonstrating there. I'll be there personally, or some of my cohorts will be there showing off the website, uh, you know, showing off website building. And uh, we hope people can come by and take a look. Great, and the website for you, built with Sandvox or not, I don't know, is? It's uh, certainly built with Sandvox. <laughs> it's uh, sandvox.com, S-A-N-D-V-O-X, not B, S-A-N-D-V-O-X.com, and uh, yeah, come check it out. Uh, we actually have a show special, and um, so people might want to know about that too, to get a, a special deal uh, during the expo as well. Great, well, thanks so much. Have a great show. All right, thank you very much. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices TV at Macworld iWorld 2012 in San Francisco. We'll be back with a whole lot more. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.